Hello everybody, this is the Benjinator and you're watching Let's Play Saga Frontier. So we just completed Ricky's quest, the most difficult and annoying quest in Saga Frontier. So, I should mention that this is kind of a big turning point in the completion of this game because the five quests I've done actually were the five most difficult ones when I first played this game. So the remaining two, Amelia and T260G, um, well T260 right now becomes T260G later spoiler um, these were the quests that I actually completed first and so in my opinion they're a lot easier and they're a lot more fun so next we are gonna be going with Amelia's quest the, uh, the sexy one I guess um, this is actually my second take of this video because as usual uh, well <laughs> not, not, not necessarily as usual but when I do tend to make recording mistakes I forget to hit the record button on the uh, the video so that's what happened I was just kinda talking to myself I made this great audio file and uh, <laughs> there was no video recording so I was just kinda talking to myself not that I don't do that anytime when I make an LP but still alright we get to name our character but we're gonna stick with Amelia cause that's a pretty cool name if you ask me and it looks like Amelia's in jail Hmm. So if you guys remember, uh, Amelia is somebody that you can actually pick up as a character if you decide to do the card quest, and she is dressed in a bunny outfit. But now, we're going to see what her deal is. She's actually, she's quite recruitable in other quests, obviously. So, uh, what's going on here? Hmm. Clicking of her heels. Uh, okay, so maybe she had to dispute with a boyfriend or something? Hmm. Uh, alright, so, I guess this is a flashback or something, because first she's in jail, and now she's walking around in the open, so, who knows. Yeah. Hmm. Well, you know, they don't, prisons are not well-renowned for their great food. Oh, look, it's Annie. And she's apparently allowed to wear heels in prison, because of that loud clicking. That's probably a terrible idea. Ooh, right, they're gonna be they're gonna make friends. Either that or Andy's gonna kick her ass, but who knows. Uh well yeah, Andy's gone to jail a lot because she's uh she's from the rough streets of Kurong. <laughs> oh boy. Yeah, and Andy's pretty tough. A safer in jail. Psh, that's funny. <laughs> what are you in for? Littering? Uh-oh. Oh, okay, so... Maybe this is how she got in jail. Got accused of doing something bad. Oh, that'd be a shame. Ren! Can't believe I can't believe her boyfriend's name is Ren. That's such a silly name. <gasps> no! He's dead. And his fish tank is still intact. Good for him. That's a nice house he's got. Ugh... Her boyfriend got attacked by the Joker. That's funny. No, oh, Ren's dead. Eesh. Oh, look, it's Fuse. Fuse is, uh... It looks like Fuse is interrogating her. It's crazy. <laughs> oh, she's dating a cop. Well, yeah, that's that's kind of a big deal. One cop kills another. They're gonna get... They're gonna get... They're gonna get to the bottom of it. Oh, I see. Getting caught off guard. <laughs> Outrageous. Uh-oh. Yeah, this is becoming a kind of a murder mystery. I like it. Oh, he's he's getting uh yeah, he's taking it personally. Fuse. <laughs> yeah, Fuse isn't the nicest person. He's kind of a uh, he's kind of pushy. But he did uh help us track down Campbell. You know, if that if in this universe that had already happened. Oh, harsh words. Yeah, you don't mess with other cops, man. But I saw it. I, as a uh, a player from a distance, from my omniscient point of view, saw that Amelia did not kill him. So, lawyer, lawyer. I haven't seen any. Uh, I haven't seen any lawyers in this game, in this Saga Frontier universe. Probably should have one. What's going on now? Oh, it's the warden. Here for a million years. Yeah, the warden is really strange. <laughs> Oop. Lucky day. 
Stinking hellhole. Aha! Uh -huh. Alright, so we gotta find the freedom rune. I know where that is. I've gotten it before. Quite a few many times. So, yeah, you have to go after the rune, and you actually have unlimited time. You don't just have five minutes. Alright, so, looks like uh, he's offering us a way out. And we know exactly how to get that. Oh, it's not impossible. It is not impossible. <laughs> I like how they're referencing God. Sometimes they don't do that in translations because it's too controversial. Uh. Alright, let's do it. Woo! It's good having Annie on your side. Annie's pretty strong. Oh, look, there she is. And Liza! Woo! She's actually... We haven't... We have not used her before, but she's actually quite useful. Alright, let's go. There's a there's a hole under the bed, really. And Amelia didn't... You know, if Amelia was at least somewhat judicious, she could have found that out earlier, but I guess not. Hell hole. I guess they're just like, yeah, we're going to leave our, our prison clothes behind. Going to wear some, some short skirts. High heels. Alright, so... We start off with Amelia, and right now she's pretty worthless. Look at those pathetic stats. Nine weapon points, 50 HP, seven strength. And of course she has no equipment at the moment, so she's not really that useful. Annie, however, for some reason they gave, decided to give her uh, armor and a sword, even though she's in prison. And look at all those nice sword techniques. Now Liza is our, is our monk. And so these three characters, uh, well, these two characters I should say, are probably two of the most useful people that you can have in this quest. So I, I recommend keeping them around. Alright, so let's go. We've seen Despair before, but there are a few little caveats I would like to show you. Because we're going to take a slightly different route this time. It's actually kind of fun. Alright, so yeah, you want to go up here, I believe, yes. Alright, so here we go. Check this out. You can jump down here. And you want to hide in the closet from the guard, who's going to walk in, and then walk out. This part's automatic. But there is a nifty little trick for when you actually want to... See, there's a little treasure chest over here, you can't see it. You want to open it up, get the life bazooka, which is good, and then you want to hide in here. So voila, it's magical. And of course, uh, if the guard catches you, if you don't hide the closet, uh, the alarm goes off and you have to start all the way over. So let's put the light bazooka on Amelia. Oh, and let's put the backpack on. Uh, let's put on. Yeah, let's put on Annie. Because why not? All right. So let's let's get out of here. And so everything from this point on is should be pretty pretty familiar. You jump down here. Um, and of course, this time you have to figure this out all by yourself. You don't have Annie saying this way, that way, and you know, deliberately misleading you. So, everything else should be fairly familiar. Oops, we want to go down, we do not want to go up. This place is easy to get lost in, but if you know the way, it's actually not too bad. Oops, and we're going to fight a battle. Might as well show you this one. Uh, wow, this, has, this is actually a lot of enemies for the beginning. This might be somewhat challenging. But yeah, these guys, Annie and Liza are actually quite strong. Um, you can use air throw, they'll help you out big time. Oh, he's rolling cradle by accident. Well, that's gonna hurt. That's gonna do a, lot, a decent amount of damage. There we go. But yeah, all these guys. What are they doing having bazookas uh, sitting around in a prison? That I never quite understood. Uh, by the way, I should mention to you that in this quest, this is gonna be kind of interesting because this is the only quest that I'm gonna be showing you where I'm only gonna be using humans. That's right. This is gonna be an all human quest. So. I don't recommend using all humans all the time because then it can get kind of tedious, especially when you're grinding, but in Amelia's quest, it actually works out because you can't use mechs, so your dreams of plural slash combo glory will are unfortunately crushed in this one, but uh, you do get some very powerful humans, including Annie and Liza, pretty much from the get-go, and so that, of course, is extremely helpful that you get these characters right from the very beginning. So. Uh, now this is going to be a familiar room. And even though we don't actually have an infrascope, uh, in Amelia's quest, because you start out in this dungeon, you have the lasers. And actually, if you hit one of them, it's game over automatically. You don't have to fight any uh, really powerful enemies. And so now we're going to go through here, and this should look familiar to you. 
Here's the gate. Woo! What's going on? Yep, something is awful smelly. I got a bad feeling about this. Way to be cliche, Anne. Annie. Forget, I, I always call her Anne by mistake. Uh-oh, something's coming. Open the door, Liza. <laughs> Rufus? Whoa, 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 whoa. You, well, like, I mean, she does know Rufus. We know that, but what, what, what's she doing? <laughs> How do, how, what's Rufus got to do with this anyway? If you're in jail, how would you be in contact with Rufus? All right, so here's a much smaller version of the uh, the neat egg. So you just kind of use your s strongest attacks and hope for the best. Suplex. Look at that level two combo between our friends Liza and our friend Annie. Look at that. Yep, 1,500 damage already. And it's a good thing we put the backpack on uh, not Amelia because Right now her HP is still quite pitiful. Look at that, 12 out of 63, ugh. But don't worry though, uh, Amelia will become mighty because she is human. And humans in this game can be become very, very powerful, as we all know. Unlike, uh, uh oh, no, she's taken out. That's a shame, all right. But now, now it's running away. Do, 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 do. That's kind of funny, so. I think we still get some uh, power-ups from that, or at least for Annie and Liza. Yep. Woo! Yeah, this is uh, this is pretty much the girl power quest. You got, you know, three females that can actually be quite powerful. And of course, wee! There's our friend, the Freedom Rune. Touchdown! Woo! Obviously, they didn't say that in the original Japanese because <laughs> Japanese culture—they don't really have much of a conception of what a sh what a touchdown is because it's American football, but. We'll let that slide. First females to make it. Intelligent lean, fighting machines. Oh, that crazy warden. That guy. Yay, we get a pardon. And we're out of jail. Oh, look at that. It's Amelia in a wedding dress with a gun and looks what looks like wrestling boots. That's pretty impressive. All right. So now Amelia can go back home and live an ordinary life, right? Game over? Why are you back here? Yeah, that's not even your house, Amelia. You're gonna be trespassing. Could be the nice old lady just bought bought the house. Although it would probably be, property value would be pretty low since uh, there was a murder committed there. Uh-oh, no, it's the Joker. It's Jack Nicholson. Ah, uh, what's going on? It's Rufus. It's Rufus, he's coming here to save me. <laughs> Uh-oh. I'll get you next time, Gadget. Uh, oops, passed out. Oh, boy. Taking me out for dinner. Oh, she's always looking for a free dinner. Damn it, Amelia. <laughs> hey, warehouses are fun. Don't complain about a warehouse. Good stuff can happen here. Oh, hey, look, it's Annie. And Liza. Whee! Yeah, who are you people? What is this? Secret society. Oh, okay, so this explains why those three are so weird. All criminals. <laughs> Everything except assassination. Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah. See, Amelia, we're, we're thinking the same. Not quite like me and Riki, though. Riki and I, we, we had pretty much identical thoughts. Ah. Uh, <laughs> we pretty much do what the cops can't do. Yeah, the the Irpo is pretty incompetent. They they're not very not very good. What are we going to do? Yeah, why why take this hot chick into your organization? <laughs> Ooh, ancient civilizations. Uh huh. So they're using, oh, okay, this is kind of an RPG cliche, using ancient technology to advance some kind of super industrial, civil, super advanced civilization bent on world destruction. Cube. Hmm. Uh, so, okay, they're, I'm a little bit confused. They're going after a thing called Cube, but they're also committing terrorist attacks and, oh, okay, we want to stop Joker from getting superpower. Got it. Mm-hmm. 
Will you work with us? Hmm. Well, that's a tough decision. Alright, so, we've uh, gotten through the first part of Amelia's quest. She was arrested for a crime she didn't commit, and now she might be joining a secret organization who's bent on stealing a power source from a guy named Joker at the same time Trinity is looking for it. Well, this already sounds complicated already. So join us next time for the second part of Let's Play Saga Frontier Merely's Quest. This is the Benjinator, and I'll see you later.